What's up, Internet? A couple of months ago, Terra Master sent us a NAS, and we liked it a lot and still use it in the shop now. But that particular model was really overkill for what the average home user needs. So for this video, Terra Master sent us another NAS, a two-bay model, which is much more in keeping with what the average customer would need. What's a NAS and why should you care? Basically, it's a big USB that's attached to your network. So for example, you download video files using your desktop, save it to the NAS, and then you can access those video files through any device, TV, mobile phone, tablet, that's attached to your network. Hard drive filling up with work files, photos, videos, dump all of them onto a NAS. You can still access them anytime, but it frees up storage on your local device. And since it's attached to the network, you can access the NAS through the internet. So even when you're not at home, even when you're not connected to your home network, you still have access to all of the files on the NAS. So a NAS is super handy to have. It's like having personal cloud storage. But is it easy to set up? That's what we'll be tackling in today's video. This particular model of Terra Master, is it dummy proof? And that includes me because it's the first time that I've installed the NAS. Is this the ideal model for beginners? Now, I know you're excited to get on with the NAS, but first things first, when you buy a NAS, you also need to buy the drives, the storage that you will install into the NAS. Regardless of brand, that's industry practice. The drives are sold separately. A little annoying, but from the point of view of the manufacturers, iba kasi yung gumagawa. Iba yung mga brands ng mga NAS versus yung mga brands for storage. And you do need to take a look on what drives are recommended for your particular NAS. This isn't like RAM where usually most RAM can be stuck into most systems. There are very clear models of storage, whether hard drives or SSDs, that you want to be using in particular NAS enclosures. And storage brands have specific lines dedicated to being used in NAS. So that's the Iron Wolf line for Seagate, the red line for WD, and other manufacturers call them different things, but they usually have a dedicated product line for use in NAS. Now, turning back to Terra Master, out of the box, I would have liked printed instructions. What you get is a QR code, and it's a generic QR code. Buti sana, when you scan it, you get sent to the instructions for your specific model. But you just get sent to a generic page where you have to pick your model. And it's not that easy, to be honest, to find out what model of NAS you have. Yes, of course, you bought it, you might be expected to know it, but again, if you're a super beginner, all of these letters and numbers can very quickly blur into each other. The Terra Master did come with some nice stickers, and nice meaning they are useful because you can stick them on the drive to label your hard drives to make things more organized. But the stickers themselves don't come with the model number, and you have to actually look at the unit, don't set technical specifications on one side, to find the model number. Again, very easy for techies, but if you're a beginner, you might be sweating a little bit at this point. Again, all those letters and numbers can be confusing. But once you get sorted out, the instructions are useful. Straightforward, the pictures make sense. Pull out the drive tray, install the hard drive or the SATA SSD, slide the tray back in, you're pretty good. Although, I had a little problem. One of the rails wasn't on properly, so medyo maingay nung pinasok ko yung drive tray into the NAS. But everything worked out with a little pushing. So again, I am 100% a beginner in all of this also, which is why I found the viewpoint of is it good for beginners very interesting. One loophole not addressed in the instructions is where to plug in the NAS. For techies, again, it's common sense that you would plug it into your router so that everything on the network can attach it all of the time. But for beginners, that's not immediately apparent and some people might plug it into their computer, into their desktop. You could do that, but that's not very useful. When you turn off your desktop, there goes the connection of the NAS to the network. So a little more hand-holding would have been helpful even with this very basic step. Once everything is set up on the hardware and setting up the NAS itself is relatively straightforward. There were some scary messages about incompatibility, again, depending on what drive you use. And I did get one message saying that the NAS couldn't read my drive. But I guess it sorted itself out because at the end of the installation process, okay na siya. 
I was asked to name the NAS and supposedly you can use that name in order to access it but that didn't work out with me but the provided IP address works just fine. This is very familiar to anyone who has had to access their router. And so again, the theme, if you're even a little bit technically inclined, setting up the NAS is pretty straightforward. If you're a complete beginner, it's still doable, but it takes a little courage. <laughs> Once the NAS is set up, the UI is also straightforward, very similar to Windows or Apple. You can create folders, drop files in, there are status bars on the transfer of files. Everything is intelligible if you've used a modern computer. So overall, this is very doable even for the most basic tech user. Yes, there were some bumps along the way. Yes, there was some knowledge that was assumed where it shouldn't have been assumed. It could have been smoother. But overall, the NAS does pretty much work straight out of the box. And if you're a beginner that wants to experiment with NAS, this TerraMaster model is something you might be interested in. Even for the most basic level computer user, the setup is doable with some courage. And we'll probably do a future video on the cool things that you can do with the NAS. For now, I just wanted to give a general overview of the unit and see it from the point of view of a beginner starting out. Because a NAS is super useful, even if you're not super techy. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.